Welcome to another session of Live Coding. We are continuing with our LCD digits from the cyberdojo.org, cyber-dojo.org. As a reminder, we are going to create an LCD string representation of an integer value using a 3x3 three three grid of spaces, underscores, and pipe characters for each digit. As they show here, as a reminder, I am not Reach Harper Green. I didn't realize that last time. It's going to refactor that because we are in a green state. <clears throat> okay. We are green, as our tests show. And last time we got through our zero and our one, we are trying to first do all of the digits, and then we'll look at doing multi-character digits. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that. Seems kind of strange. But yeah, let's do that. All right, control D to duplicate. We are going to look at what it takes to do a two. Um, underscore, underscore, pipe, pipe, underscore. Okay. You say here. But da, 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 da. Uh, if you hold down Alt and can Alt Shift. Alt shift. You can actually do a column select. So I'm going to copy that. And then here. I can paste it. And it actually pastes as a column. Keeps it wonderfully out of my way. Oops. And then for space. Okay. So there it is. All right. And we're going to change our input to two. So fabulous. So we're going to rename this so we do our uh, two with two. Two for two. Absolutely. And it's going to fail. So we're going to get. Uh, Uh, whew, I do not have that defined yet. It's going to be kind of a fun exchange here. Just as I work through getting all of these in place. So now we're green. So now we extract field the one occurrence we saw there was two so that means it's going good and this is LCD 2 okay streamline that <clears throat> yeah okay um, and we're just really going to continue this for all of the digits it's not terribly interesting but sometimes interesting things happen so we'll go ahead and see what happens. So let's uh, go use our Alt Shift trick or key combination, whatever you want to consider it, to pull in what we need for our new three. I didn't do this in the last ones because I could scroll up and see it easy enough, but I kind of like it as it's ah, neat. I um, just pasted it right in there. So let me undo that. No, no, apparently not undoing it. Okay, whatever. Not at all what I meant to do. Interesting. All right. Delete. There we go. Okay. Same thing there. Same thing there. You are different. There we go. Okay. Now we have our three. Break input is going to be three. And we rename. So, fun thing is, I'm actually recording this at work, which, you know, I'm a coach. So I get to do coachy type stuff. Uh, I accidentally reserved like one of the big conference rooms for this, but hey, it was open. I'm okay with that. All right, now if our input is three, here and gonna return a whole new thing, like a whole new world. Um, that is space underscore space, space underscore pipe. New line space underscore pipe. 
cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, everything passes. So we will go ahead and extract this to a field as a constant, replacing the one instance of it. Three. So, I mean, this is going to look very, 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 very repetitive. And yes, yes, yeah, it is. We are very repetitive at this point, but it doesn't take us that much longer to do these tests and validate that we're, we have everything we want, including a double entry to make sure that we don't typo things. That is a huge win so that things don't come up strange later or we don't have a misunderstanding, misconception represented in only a single place in our code base. We have it in two, which, I mean, still terrible if we don't catch it, but much better, uh, much better to have the, op we get that extra opportunity to catch it. Whereas if we just type code or do it once, we don't get that uh, second opportunity and systems are gonna suffer for that. I'm trying to think if I should rename these. Is LCD four? Eh, I mean, for four, it it should be return LCD for four. Because when we get in other bigger numbers, we're going to uh, I'm refactoring on red. I I apologize. Uh, shame on me. I am in fact refactoring on red. Don't do that. Terrible, terrible, but sometimes I forget. <clears throat> okay, now I can pretend I wasn't a horrible, horrible programmer and refactor it on red. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it was one, two, three, um, and then pipe underscore pipe, and then space, space, pipe. Let's go ahead and get to green. Fabulous. Uh, our extract our field to replace just the one instance uh, again. What we do? Now, why am I doing each digit? Well, we need every digit is going to be represented, and I think just going through this is going to be the simplest way to get to a more general, better solution. We need a way to I look at the digit and return the correct one. So that's what I'm doing. All right, that works. We're going to go to five. Yeah, we're going to go to the top here, pull down our five. Okay. Paste it in. Not hit Alt, but paste. There we go. Okay, so we got an underscore. Pipe space and underscore space underscore pipe. As for our five. Okay. Now we should be failing. Well, uh, we're not failing because I haven't renamed it yet, which is good because I also haven't added this. So one of the reasons I also like doing these step-by-step step is it helps continue to build the muscle memory to do the right thing. Um, I, it helps build the muscle memory to modify the internals before you modify the method name. And like here, I would have had a mistake. It would have actually failed. I mean, it still would have failed, but not for the reason I expected. I expect it to be fail because it thinks it's trying to get a zero. So if you look at this, that's what's happened. It's one out of five, but got the zero format. So we're going to just do practice this. Part of this is, a, it's all about, well, not part of it, but this is about practice. We want to practice doing the simplest thing. And the simplest thing in each of these is really uh, digit at a time.
So we're going to do a digit at a time. And we're going to see what happens. And there was a space underscore pipe. Okay, and we are back to green. And then we do our refactor or our extract field, which actually when we're using we're sharper is control R F, control R for refactor, F for field, make a constant, and it says L C D five. And fabulous. So that is got a little further along, just slightly over halfway of our initial digits. It's just past the 10 minute mark, almost on the 11. Um, so we are going to uh, stop this video and I'll hopefully see you next time as we continue to generate LCD tests by test driven development. And maybe, I don't think next time, I think next time we'll probably just be pounding through the last four digits but then we'll get into multi-digits and that should force us into some transformations. All right, thank you.